Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Well we're back in the temperate greenhouse today. Um, this is where I keep all my uh, carnivorous plant seedlings. Um, I did say on a previous video that I would show you or share with you how I take off um, my gamay from um, Joshua Pygmus sundew. Um, so today I'm going to take the gamay from uh, a Joshua Rosanna Pygmus sundew. Um, I'm hoping you're going to see that in the centre of shot. You see all the green in the centre. That is the gamay. That is ready for me now to take off and pot on so that I can create some young Drosera Pygmy Sundews variety Rosanna. So, what do I need to do this and how do I do it here in the UK? Well, I've done a tray of mix which uh, I always use. I use horticultural sand, I hope you can see that. I use finely chopped uh, long fibred sphagnum moss. I use perlite and I use peat moss. Um, I mix all that together, dump it all down, and we're ready to go. Now, if you follow the channel and watch me uh, growing uh, seeds before and taking cuttings and divisions from carnivorous plants, you know that I use a um, small seed tray with a dome to make it a bit like a mini greenhouse. It's a propagator, um, that's what I use. You're going to need some water, so I have a jug of water handy, and the good old toothpick. This is what I use all the time, a toothpick. And obviously you want some tissue. I usually damp that down for any gamay that's left on the plant. Um, I put it in a damp tissue and I share it with other people um, locally to me who are looking for uh, gamay to create their own seeds. So let me get this mixed up and I'll bring you back and we'll have a look at it, how we take the gamay from the plant and pot it on. Give me a second. So first of all, like with all my seedlings, and if you follow the channel and you followed me um, seeding carnivorous plants, you'll know that I always use a line, a tray with chopped fibre, long fibre sphagnum moss all chopped up. So I just chuck that in the bottom. And as I said in all the videos, that keeps the um, compost, the perlite and the sand, or culture sand, inside the tray. And it also wicks up the water from the bottom when you stand it in water. So now we've got that in, let's get as mix in. Right, I've uh, put my mix in. The uh, peat moss, perlite and horticultural sand all mixed up. Equal parts really. So if you use, I mix it out with a plant pot, plant pot full of compost, uh, potting mix plant pot full of perlite, plant pot full of sand. Then I just fine, finally put a little bit of sphagnum on the top. Now, as I said before, if you do watch this channel, you'll know that I do this nearly on every one um, of my seed trays. When I'm taking seeds or gamay, I always put a little sphagnum moss on top. I just pat it down. I give it a bit of a misting, but it's is all damp. This is give it a bit of a misting. Let have a look at that, and that's ready now to receive the gamay. So I'm gonna get the plant down now and show you how to take the gamay off the uh, pygmy sundew, plant it on the top of this um, sphagnum, and let's see how we can do it together. So in a few weeks' time, I can bring you back in this greenhouse and show you how it's um, germinated. Give me a sec. First of all, um, there's probably 40 or 50 gamay in the crown of that uh, big misunju. I don't need all of them. So I know you can't see it here, but I've wet some tissue at the side. I've also got my tray, but we're gonna put them in. I've zoomed you in a little bit so you can see me take the gamay first. I just wet 
the um, cocktail stick in a bit of water. Then I hope I'm hoping you can see this. I just touch the top of the gamay until one comes loose, and hopefully it sticks to the uh, cocktail stick. Now. I'm hoping you can see that if I bring that up, I don't know if it's going to pick up on that or probably not. But on the end of that cocktail stick, the, the little green dot is one of the gamay. So now I've got one, I'll put it on the tissue for now so I can get the rest off. Let you see a bit more water. Always keep wetting your um, toothpick. Because it makes life a lot easier. Um, as you can see again, look. I don't know if that's going to focus. It's not going to focus very good on that, but uh, there's a couple there. It's got two there this time. So I'll just put them on the um, tissue for now. Back again. And again, you can see gamay on the end of the stick. Let's get back in again and get some more out. I don't want to bore you doing this. I just want to show you how I do it here in the UK. Um, there's a lot of videos out there showing you how to do take gamay from um, sundew. But I did say when I recently did my um, king sundew seed um, video, my um, regia. I will show you how I take um, gamay from one of my um, pygmy sundews. Right, I've got a few there now. Let me get move things around so you can see me put them onto the tray. Uh, I don't know if you're going to see the gamay on this tissue. I'll bring it up to the camera um, see if you can see all the green on that tissue. That is the gamay that I'm going to put in my pot. There's a lot more left on that particular crown of that plant but I don't want a lot and I'll do it off camera because what I don't want to do is keep people watching and watching when all I want to do is get it across how to do it, how I do it successfully and grow, um, grow on from gamay. So right, I've wet the cocktail stick again. I pick the first one up. I don't know if you're going to see that, but there's one on that um, cocktail stick, and I just put it on in between the sphagnum. So let's get another one. It's two. Push it in to make contact with the soil. Like all the seeds I'll show you how to do. It's three. Four. A bit more water. Five. Six. Water. Seven, eight, water, two here, nine, and ten. Now just make sure they've all got contact with the uh, moss. Just push them down a little bit. They don't need to be buried. I never bury them. Um, now that they're in, I just give them a quick misting. Don't forget your label. Go and get your label printed. Um, because we're in the autumn here in the uh, UK, we're not getting decent temperatures. I'll take these in the house this time. Um, they usually take between well, a couple of weeks to uh, germinate. The gamma takes a couple of weeks. I'll show you another video when the gamay come up. I've already done some a couple of weeks ago. Um, 
and they're coming up but I'll show you them on another video. Um, I keep them in the home because they're going to need to germinate, they need a temperature of about 15 to 20 degrees. So ideally in your home that'll do these. Give them good light, a windowsill or in your conservatory, somewhere like that. Um, I'd normally leave them in this greenhouse but as I say temperatures are dropping and I want these to germinate as quick as possible so they get a bit of a start on before the winter sets in. Well, I hope you found that useful, viewers. Um, give us a thumbs up if you did. Um, if you like the channel, I do mostly um, orchids, and I've got carnivorous plants as well. Most of my orchids are Mazda Valia, Dracula. So please follow the channel, subscribe. Please leave a comment. Um, I love to read comments. If you think that my method is not the way to do it by all means tell me but I know I've had success in growing my gamay this way in this mixture so until next time viewers thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one bye for now